Hello, welcome to Benacam. We're going mining today. We're going to go and look at uh, this strange feature that we found down the mine. I don't actually know what it is. It's some kind of mineral feature and it should be interesting. How's it going, Vinzo? Good day, mate. <laughs> Just making sure everyone's all uh, safe and sound for today. Vinny yeah. is the safety officer today. Everyone's safety is in his hands. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> So today we are going down part of Old Wheel Jane Mine. Years ago, a timber headwork once stood in this spot, but that's all long gone, just leaving the concrete collared 60 meter deep vertical shaft. We assembled a team of like-minded mine explorers and cavers to push some of the deeper workings and to go take a better look at this mineral formation we had discovered on a previous trip. Okay. Right. So what am I doing when I go down? What are you saying that? Are you excited? Just make it up. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's on, on, that, on, that on. one. Is that one out? The side of the... Oh, not really. Yeah, it is a bit slippery. Thing. On that one, you push it in. Yeah. Oh, hello, Vinzo. Now, on your left foot, yeah. there's a foothold. Yes, about three, four, 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 four inches down. Yeah. If you wanted to lower yourself down with that. When you put it, you've got it. <laughs> That's a lens, don't mind. Yeah. We'll start three, we'll, we'll free hands for a little bit, then we'll get back onto a ledge. Yeah. It's hard to do it when the rope's not on it. It'll come that way. It'll be like that, it'll be under tension, and then if you put it this way, put so the carpet there. Yeah. <coughs> you right? Oh, ideal. How's it going, Paul? <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's good, isn't it? Looking very summery there, Beth. You do realise oh, it's like yeah. February. <laughs> nah, it's always short weather. <laughs> <laughs> we followed the old rails further down into the mine. This east section of Old Wheel Jane was worked extensively in the early 1900s and the workings that remain are some of the most impressive stopes still found within any Cornish mine. On our journey through the workings, we pass old mine wagons still sat on the rails where they were left, empty explosive packets, bases for removed mining machinery, and several wooden ore chutes before heading off into the deeper sections of the mine. Nice colours. This area of the mine was known as Whitford's Stope, but was nicknamed the Boat Stope by the miners who worked here due to the shape of the hanging wall above resembling that of going under the hull of a ship as you pass down through it. We finally reach the wetter, deep adit section of the mine. These tunnels have some great formations caused by the running water percolating down through the rock above, and these areas have largely remained untouched since the mine's closure. Right, we're just approaching this weird feature now. So this is the formation that we had come back to see that we discovered on a previous trip. The material is steadily being built up by dripping water from above and is thought mostly to be made of a mixture of iron oxides and hydroxides which has formed as the seam of pyrite in the bedrock above has been eroded away by the groundwater. Thank you. 
Look at that colour. That looks awesome. We decided to head back and travelled up through some of the large stoked out areas of the mine, passing a massive rock which was once part of the ceiling. Rock climbing, leading the way. Yes. It was time to head back to the shaft for the long climb back out. Just make sure yep. the rope goes through this. Ben, do you reckon that's all right there like that?